what is your writing process like? Do you get up at like five o'clock in the morning? <laughs> do you write, you know, longhand? Do you have a computer? How do, how do you I do have, it? Uh, well, it's changed during COVID because there was nowhere to go and nothing to do. So I put my laptop on my nightstand every night in the morning around seven. I wake up. I grab a Diet Coke. I know it's my secret vice. Okay, uh, well, I guess it's like a cup of coffee. I don't drink right? coffee, right. so um, I grab my laptop and I start writing. And before I go to sleep at night, I try to, if possible, sort of direct my thoughts into the book. Like, what kind of problem am I trying to solve in the next day's writing? And some nights it goes well, and I wake up and I just start. I start writing. Other days, I wake up and I start tearing my hair out. <laughs> So, I mean, what do you know about murders, Mary Kay? Because there's a big murder mystery in this book. Well, you know, I used to be uh, a newspaper reporter. That's right. That's yeah, I right. worked at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. It was my last job in newspapers. And I covered crime and courts for a while. And I, But I, as a little kid, I was one of those weird kids that was always fascinated with crime and mystery. And I read Nancy Drew, and then I graduated to Mickey Spillane, <laughs> as one does. Yes. And, um, and so I started out right, my writing career writing straight mystery. And then I kind of evolved into writing women's fiction. But there's always a mystery element. And in this one, the mystery element is a long missing um, Catholic school teacher. She's the cool teacher at this Catholic girl school. And it just happens that the protagonist of the book, Hattie, um, she was Hattie's favorite teacher. And one night, she and her football coach husband go to a Super Bowl party. And the next morning, she's gone. Mm. She's gone. And for years, there's no trace of her. Really? Until they find her billfold in the wall of this old house on Tybee. There it is. There it is. It all comes back. Speaking of that bill for, uh, that, that wallet that you found yes. in your own home, yes. did you do any research? Do you know of who that course, person? Of Was course. that person murdered or something like no, that? Was I, it stolen? No, here's what happened. <laughs> I, I posted on my social media. I'm at Mary Kay Andrews on Instagram and Facebook. I posted on my social media about 10.30 at night. I found the lady's obituary. Um, it had her driver's license, her social security card, little pictures of her sailor husband, her baby, but I couldn't find her survivors. And so I posted on social media at 10.30 at night. The next morning I had hundreds and hundreds of comments and people had contacted her, her son and daughter who were now in their 50s. And um, I get, actually invited them down to Tybee Island and reunited the wall. They have no idea how the wallet got in the wall. I still don't know. That is wild. Right.